Hey everybody, my name is Alex. In this video, I'm going to show you how to increase your post data size so you can get the maximum size before poet registration. In order to do this, you're going to be using post CLI. The process should be about the same whether you're using Windows, Mac, uh, or Linux. And you need to do this before poet registration. Once you go through poet registration and you have those NIPOST files in your post data folder, do not do this or you are most likely going to corrupt everything and you'll have to start over um, and it's not going to be fun. So um, if you are still generating post data, 100% you can do this. If you have generated the post data but you haven't gone through poet registration, you might have a post.bin file in there. You're going to need to delete that out so that it can be reinitialized with your new post data. So just make sure, I'm not going to show it in this video because I don't actually have one. I don't have a one that's completed that I want to expand. So you're not going to see my post.bin file. If you have one, again, if you change the size, you're going to need to delete that post.bin and reinitialize. All right, let's jump into it. I've created some fake data here, so none of y'all try and steal my node ID and invalidate my data. If I do uh, just ls-l fake post data, you can see I've got my post data underscore bin zero, or post data zero bin file. I've got a post data metadata.json and I have a key.bin. Now, you might have a ton of post data files, you know, zero through however many. If you've completed a four num unit, then you probably have 127 of these post data files. That's totally fine. The only ones that you're going to be modifying, well, the only one you're going to be modifying is the post data underscore metadata dot JSON. And the reason why we're going to modify this is because we need to increase the num units. So in this case, if I do um, sudo nano, or yeah, nano, let's do fake post data, and we're going to do, let's take a look at that metadata file. So we have our node ID, we have our commitment ATX ID labels per unit, num units, and max file size. What we want to do, let's just say I know that I can fit two more num uh, space units, so SUs, and, and that's specified with the num unit uh, key there. I can go in here and I can edit this to say six. And then I'll do control X, Y, enter. And I didn't need sudo in that last command. I'm just so used to typing it since I'm typically working in a root owned directory. Um, so that's the step number one. You want to update your post data metadata.json to be equivalent to the new num units that you want to do. Keep everything else the same. Uh, you might also have a nonce and nonce value in there. That's totally fine. Leave everything the same. The only thing you're going to change is the num units. Okay. Now, if you recently had started some, uh, or not even recently, but if you ran post CLI before for the first time and it generated an ID for you, so let's say you ran a command similar to this, where you did not have a dash ID. We only have the commitment ATX ID. We don't have the node ID in here. We do this because it's going to automatically create a node ID for us, and that's going to be totally unique. So there's no chance that you have your data invalidated by reusing the node ID. That's just best practice when you're using post CLI. Let it generate that ID for you. But you can't just run this command again because it's going to be looking for a node ID. And we can even run it, and you can see a key file already exists. This appears to be a mistake. If you're trying to initialize a new identity, delete the key.bin. Don't delete the key.bin. We want to do what the second part of this says, which is specify identity with the dash ID. So in order to find the ID, it's really simple. All we're going to do is 
do cat and then wherever your post data is so mine's in my home directory called fake post data and then we're going to specifically be using our key.bin we're going to do the pipe character there and then we're going to do tail-c64 to get the last 64 characters of our key.bin and then we're going to do a semicolon and echo and this just helps print it on a separate line basically so if we do that okay i guess <laughs> you know what i use sudo to create that directory so i take it all back i did need sudo all along um, but anyways i don't know why i use sudo just to create a directory in my home folder um, i'm clearly not a linux expert but anyways it all works out just fine I'm printing out my uh, node ID and I just want to copy this because I'm going to use it when I update my command. So let's update the command. So I'm going to just go back up to my original command and there's two things we're going to want to change here. We're going to do dash ID and we're going to paste in the ID that we just barely got and then we're going to update the num units. So I updated it to six. So I'm going to erase four and I'm going to put six. Now, the biggest thing that you have to make sure happens here is that the post data metadata.json matches your command for the num units. And then we'll just hit enter. And we can see that it just picks up right where it left off. Um, and now you can even see here, initialization started. We see my data dir, we see my num units being six. And this will now go until I have uh, 100 and, or maybe even 200, I don't know how many files for six. Six times 32, whatever that is, uh, 192, something like that. Uh, so yeah, this is it, you're good to go. Um, if you had like completed it before and you had to delete your post op in, this is going to just, you'll see it pick up all the files that you've already had before. It'll just say like, you know, already initialized. You'll see a bunch of those print out and then you can get started right away. So I definitely recommend doing this if you underestimated your data size, how much you'd be able to plot out before poet registration. This is kind of a safe way. And honestly, it works in the reverse. If you want to reduce your file size, uh, maybe I'll do a separate video on this, but just for those that are maybe looking at this and want to know how to reduce, and I haven't tested this yet, but my assumption is you can just reduce the number the same way and it will change everything automatically. Even if you've done more, I don't know why you would do this, but even if you did more file, post bin files than you needed to for that new num unit size, I think it'll just discard those. Sorry about that, my mic is terrible, and for some reason this headset just shuts off after like 30 minutes. So if my if I get a little bit long-winded in my videos, then it shuts off on me. So anyways, that is how it's done. Feel free to comment if you have any questions, I'll be happy to answer them. Uh, I am repost in the Discord, so if you have questions and you're on the Discord, you can always message me there as well. And feel free to like and subscribe if this video helped you, and I will see you in the next one.